Our fifth presenter is Vivian Shen, whose presentation is titled Body Aligned Design for Haptic Immersion in Extended Reality. Imagine you're standing on the top of Mount Everest, surveying the view from the world's most iconic summit. And then, with a snap of the finger, you're deep in the ocean, surrounded by bioluminescent creatures of the dark. This is the power of virtual reality, a portal to anywhere. It's also a tool that can immerse students in historical contexts or foster global human connection. VR is more than just entertainment. It's the next frontier of reality itself. Current headsets have pretty good high-resolution graphics and spatial audio capabilities, but we don't just navigate the world through seeing and hearing. The main way that we understand the world is through our sense of touch. You can't feel like you're on Everest if you can't feel the snow under your feet or the wind on your face. Unfortunately, modern-day headsets come with controllers with the most basic vibrations. And so there exists an entire field of research that develops devices that augment our sense of touch, and this is called haptics. In my research, I propose a new multi-objective framework for developing haptic devices, optimizing across the ideals of immersion and practicality. You can see these graphed in the middle on the axis of system complexity. As we throw more money and engineering effort into developing a complex system, it typically becomes more immersive, but it also becomes impractically expensive and bulky, making it more inaccessible. So an optimal solution in my framework is one that is immersive enough that it's still interesting, but practical enough that users will actually use it. There is one more piece of my framework as well, which is that full immersion also means full body. Unfortunately, our skin is not all the same. Different body parts have different sensitivities to varying stimuli. You can see this represented by this weird drawing of a man on my right. The larger his body part, the more sensitive that area of skin is. And so we have a different immersion practicality trade-off per body part, which is illustrated by the curve. I've developed several haptic devices as research probes into this framework. The most intuitive example are the haptic gloves, which explored fine-grained, high-resolution tactile output on our fingertips, the most sensitive part of our body. The next most sensitive part of our body is our mouths, and so I developed a different high-resolution device that uh, creates high-resolution output on our mouth, but through a hygienic and non-contact form factor. The rest of our face is quite a bit less sensitive, so I developed a novel actuation method that is super cheap and easy to make, but is only about medium resolution. Uh, our limbs are very low tactile sensitivity, so I'm currently working on a haptic jacket that focuses on low resolution but high force output on the limbs, and it's cheap and easy to wear. And finally, my last ongoing project is a haptic floor that enables ground sensations for users walking around in VR at a fraction of the cost of previous systems. In my research, I've both developed and uh, explored a framework for haptic devices, and ultimately my goal is to create a full-body, seamless haptic experience that is both immersive and practical enough for every VR scenario. Thank you. <laughs>